I looked at what I could do going through a traditional high school, and I looked at what I could do going through a technical high school, and I saw that the academics part of it is the same for both you know, traditional high school and trade school. And I saw that I could leave here with a skill more than just knowing what every other high schooler knows. I decided to come to Vinyl to get away from the typical public school where it's just academics, where at Vinyl I could do academics and a shop, which would help benefit me later in life. When I was a freshman, I went through the exploratory uh, program, and there were a couple shops I, I really liked. I chose my trade based off of what I liked the most in exploratory. You have up till October your sophomore year to change your mind. Vinyl Tech High School is located in Middletown, Connecticut. Uh, we offer several trade shops from carpentry, hairdressing, manufacturing, to criminal justice, which is what I teach. We bus in 27 surrounding towns. Um, very diverse population of students that come to the school. A lot of our kids do go on to college and they're able to work a trade either during the day or at night and that helps some of them financially get through that college transition. So Vinyl has all the same sports and clubs as a traditional high school, you know, your basketball, football, volleyball. There's rifle team, there's track and field, there's cross country. We also have clubs that you could go into. My favorite was Skills USA and I placed first in the competition, and now I'm going to Louisville. It's a bit crazy to think about. So we have homecoming, and we have prom for juniors and seniors. It's just a time for all the students to get together. So the schedule at a tech school in general is they spend about 10 days in shop, and then they spend about 10 days in their academics. When I was a freshman, I went through the exploratory program, and there were a couple shops I really liked. I liked HVAC, and I liked carpentry, and I liked manufacturing. There was something about you know, taking like an ugly, rusty piece of metal and turning it into something someone could use. I think that's pretty much what made me decide that I wanted to go into manufacturing. Almost all of the shops do production work, which is where they actually go out and work for the community, doing projects, doing their actual trade and skill. So hairdressing does participate in student production by doing clients. The feedback you get from a client is very beneficial. By the end of your senior year at Vinyl Tech, you'll be eligible to take your hairdressing license test for the state of Connecticut and you have to have a certain amount of hours, which you'll get all your hours here, and then if you pass the test, you'll be a licensed hairdresser. So work-based learning differs in that the students actually leave and go off on their own to work for an employer and get paid while they're actually learning the skill. I work at Soroyce Tool in Berlin. I am currently in the precision grinding apartment, and it's really valuable to the person who does it because they learn so much from working at a place. After I graduate, I'll be attending Goodwin College, and my company does full tuition reimbursement, so I won't be paying for any of it, which is pretty cool. All of the trades uh, offer some ability for students to earn college credits while they're either in their academic portion of their classes or in the trade portion of their classes. I feel like vinyl does really prepare you for the outside world. I think every student should at least try to come here. It's definitely something that should be looked into. I'm really glad I came to a tech school. You know, if you're interested, I say go for it. Absolutely. You'll like it.